northern Ontario. Pristine wilderness. Thousands of remote lakes. Truly any angler's dream destination. For fly fishers, there is a multitude of species to cast for. But one is truly special. Ferocious northern pike. We're the guests of Marmac Lodge, which is famous for offering all anglers an opportunity to catch big and explosive northern pike on a lure or a fly. Come join us on our adventure. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere. Ooh, that's a nice sized fish. What? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. The new Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Algoma Country, Orvis Fly Fishing, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada. Northern Pike, also known as the Water Wolf, an apex predator famous for destroying giant streamers in mere seconds with their razor sharp teeth. First fish absolutely destroyed this fly. And I hope we get a whole bunch more like this. So awesome. Known for their lightning fast attacks and known as a predator that loves to feast on surface targets such as frogs, mice, and even small ducks. They're the ultimate freshwater predator here in Northern Ontario. We're in Algoma country, fishing Lake Isnagi for Northern Pike, the guests of Marmac Lodge. Marmac Lodge is a quick and scenic flight from White River, or you also have the option of hopping on a train for the trip in. This trip came together when I learned my good friend, Rob Voisin, was working in the region. He had a few days off, so we both jumped on the opportunity to visit Marmac Lodge and sampled their famed fishing. This should be an exciting, fun few days. We have limited fishing time on this short two-day trip, so every hour counts. Andre, one of the lodge's top guides, was kind enough to take us out after supper to show us some key spots that we could come back and explore on our own. This information is incredibly important so we can maximize our time on the water. I strongly recommend that when we come to a new lake, you hire a guide for a day. It's money well spent. This thing's just darting left and right, oh, oh. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to do some recon work. At least we could use these hours to get a little taste of what's going on here. So we're gonna spot hop. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm gonna sink, uh, fish with a sinking line and a floating line. What I'm trying to do right now is get a taste of this lake, find out if the fish are still sitting in the shallows because we've had some sporadic weather lately or if they're sitting a little deeper. So we're gonna spot hop. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. We're gonna get our bearings around here. So we're all ready and set to go in the morning. We still have about three or four hours of sunlight. We're gonna get after it. Both Rob and I are pumped to get started as we motor down this massive lake, checking spots that can hold big northern pike. You can see this is the same kind of like the drop off of these rocks is oh, like yeah. 10 feet, 10 I feet, know. 10 feet. It often takes a bit of casting to assess what the fish want and what type of presentation will work. 
There's a fish. Oh, nice. Good call, Andre. Nice. Good call. Andre just brought us to a spot. He said there's a lot of submerged wood. Told me to fan it out. Second cast, we're into one. Oh, she's trying to go across the lake on me here. Yeah. These I was just power. Thinking, these have power. I was just wow. thinking you brought the small net. Come on, let's start this trip in fashion here. Good fashion. Woo. Oh, man. <laughs> Glad I ate my Wheaties this morning. Look at how thick this fish is. Oh, doesn't like that. Third time's a charm. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! What a way to start! Second cast. How many inches are we looking at there? 38 inches. What a way to start. First 10 minutes, Marmac Lodge. First fish absolutely destroyed this fly. And I hope we get a whole bunch more like this. So awesome. We thoroughly cast this location and no more success. So it's on to the next bay. It did not take long before Rob was into a fish. Okay. Yep. You into one? Yep. Andre's taken us to a couple of spots and it hasn't taken very long. We haven't been out an hour. We, have, we don't have an hour of fishing time and not even close, half an hour maybe. And we are into another nice fish here. There you go. Trying to go under the boat on me As soon here. as they see that boat, they oh, yeah. are gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. These fish have shoulders, that's for sure. This one's a little more net appropriate sized, I think, than the first one. There you go. There we go. It's like a shortstop. Very nice. Funny that hit, that fish hit, just a, all of a sudden there was a bunch of weight there. Must have followed it and grabbed it. Yeah. Good job, Andre. Nice fish. Beauty. Snoggy Lake is no doubt a world-class pike lake, but if we had more time, we would also try our luck with the walleye and the whitefish. The other guests have had great success with these species as the fishing is red hot right now across the board. But for Rob and I, right now, it's all about those killer pike. It's like throwing a big wet sock, isn't it? Four, four to six feet, they could see this up there. Oh, for sure, they could. Right now, fishing maybe about less than a foot under the surface. And what we're trying to figure out is if the fish are still in these back bays because the water's still cold. So the fish may be sitting in here a lot longer. And maybe we could do some fight, uh, sight fishing in you know, th two to four feet of water. And if they're not coming up, Rob is loaded up with a sink tip, and we're gonna get out of these bays to the mouse and then see if we could get them deeper. I don't know if I could get them. We need something's got a little bigger. That one's bigger, no? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Nice, There's Rob. Fish. How deep was that? It was about a three second count because we're in pretty shallow water. I didn't want to. I don't want to let the sink tip drop too low. It's not a big guy, but gives, it's us, action. gives us a bit of an idea here where the fish might be. There we go, in the big net. And the fly's out, barbless hooks, pop right out. It almost looks like a mini muskie, that thing. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? Look at it, the... I thought it had the exact same The markings thought. on it. Nice. 
Hey, I let him take it this time. I saw him. Nice job. Not a big fish, but I saw him. He sneaked up on it like a little sneaker guy. Nice. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh he there let it go. Gone. That was a good little fish. At least we know they're starting to come up now. Yeah. Yeah, that was right on the top. Yep. Did you see that one coming? Yep. He snuck up. He come up slowly behind it. I just slowed down my retrieve. Yeah. And just grabbed the tail and hung on to it. Sadly, this fun evening of exploration has come to an end, so we head back to the lodge. Like everything we enjoy doing, time just seems to go by so fast. At least we're treated to a wondrous show in the sky as we go to bed. Another wondrous morning here at Lake Esnagi. After topping up with coffee and a great breakfast, we prep to go out on the water. Today, we will continue to explore shallow bays as the warming temperatures should bring the pike up from the deep in search of food. This should be exciting. First morning, the weather is absolutely perfect this morning. The lake is laid down for us. We are able to scoot across the lake relatively fast and we're gonna be working the shallow bays. We're hoping the, the fish are still holding in these bays and we're gonna be sighting them. It's gonna be a fun day. I think the fishing is gonna be great this morning. Oh, there we are. Nice. Slow retrieve, Rob. Nice, okay. Slow retrieve. They look so cool, Pike. When you're calling a fish like that small, you know you're in a special place. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Nice. Good way to start the day, Rob. Great way. I think the warmer it gets, it's just gonna get better and better. We could just pop that, barbless. There it is. <laughs> Fish? Yep. Oh boy. Just a little guy. Let me get in here. Sun's picking up. Sun's out. Weather's getting nice. Jacket's off and the fishing's just starting to pick up now. As it gets warmer out, we're expecting the fishing to really turn on. They're small, but it's a good sign there, Rob. Definitely. You know, these hooks pop right out, but the pike don't always want to let go. Beauty, this streamer is doing, <laughs> putting in the work, buddy. Nice job. Thanks, man. Mikey and I are up here looking for big northern pike. One of the keys to our setup is using this bite wire leader that connects directly to our flies. Now I get asked all the time, how do you connect this to your fly? And using a regular clinch knot that you would use with a monofilament or fluorocarbon leader would work perfectly fine as you see here. But one of the ways I like to do it is actually using a loop knot. And the reason is, is that the bite wire, although very malleable, is a little bit more rigid than normal line and using this loop knot actually allows the fly to still move a little bit more freely around the loop as you're moving it and it just gives it that little bit of extra movement to entice those fish. There we are. Nice. Not a big fish, but an aggressive one. That was more on a faster retrieve too, Rob. Nice. Well, we'll see if that trend starts to materialize here as predicted, I should say. I love the way these little guys fight. They're so spunky. I just knock that off for me, pal? Yeah, pass her over here. Thank you. Oh, this guy inhaled it. 
you go. Come on, baby. I want a big, big old lady. Yeah, there's all kinds of structure in here. Into the lumber yard. This we is go. Ambush Central right here. There, we, there go. we go. The old strip set. Another smaller one, another feisty one. Think you could help me out with this one, bud? Absolutely. These little guys easier, just pop them off and continue with their day. They go home, we continue fishing, everyone's happy. You know, these fish though, they keep you busy all day long, keep you excited. They strike like crazy. Like if you've never fished for pike like this, even a fish this size, not a trophy, no, but certainly worth having fun with. There we go. Get them back in the water here. Give them a little minute to revive himself. Off he goes. Thanks, Robbie. Nice job, Mikey. Thanks, Let's go Bob. get another. Let's yep. go find Mama. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice fish. Oh, I lost him. No. Yeah, he pulled off. That was a big take too. That was a really nice fish. I could tell just from the take, it smashed it. Let go and pulled it through the weeds. That's a good sign. That, that looked like a big fish it had, Rob. Yeah, I know. So maybe it's starting to get active. Time to speed up the retrieval now. Here we got wood. Cabbage weeds are just starting to come up. Probably about four or five feet of water here. And there's structure absolutely everywhere and down there. So I'm bringing it just up over top of the wood structure. And there's, there's hundreds of ambush spots in here. The strikes could come at any time here. Right two feet from the boat to way out there. So be on your toes. Oh man, just had a swing and a miss from a huge fish. Just as I'm lifting the cast back out to it, I get another strike. Not nearly as big a fish. Whoa, oh, aerial lots performance. Of fun, though. He almost jumped in the boat right there. Landed right in the net. So I'm trying to just get this guy in the net. I'd like to, our boat's not moving too much, so it'd be nice to get the fly back out there. Here's some pliers, Mikey. Thank you, sir. This is the big old one you're using. Yeah. And nice I got job. soaked. But barbless hooks are huge. This could get really ugly when you're using barbs. Sometimes they'll still hang on and grab your fly and wreck it, but yeah. the fish is safe. And a lot of people like tying, so gives them an excuse. You sighted this one too, or you had the big one, you just missed it, didn't you? You know what, actually, I saw a, bait, a bit of a bait ball, so minnows flopping on the surface, threw my fly right into the middle of it. Big one. See the mark on swipe. it? Something took a swipe on that. Oh, yeah. Probably that big fish, something like that. As of right now, everything's going is exactly as we are hoping. We are hoping to get in here today, early afternoon, let this bay get a little warmer. The pike are still holding in here and we're sight fishing. We just got a small one. Rob just missed a tank. But right now we're in the flats and we're now sight fishing these fish. It's absolutely amazing. You can see every take, every miss. You can see them lurking. It's, it's almost like you're bone fishing. And we're in maybe, what, two or three feet of water right now. And uh, if you keep your eyes peeled, you just see, see them cruising through here. Oh, there oh, we are. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, did you see that, Robert? Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Just saw the flash. Oh, my God. This thing hit like a barracuda. Oh, he's still head shaking. He's, like, he's going crazy. It is so fun to watch these fish take these flies. Oh, man. I just saw the, the belly flash out of nowhere. <laughs> it is so fun. Sight fishing rules. This orange and black is getting the job done, man.
putting me to work as the net guy today, Mikey. Northern pike are unique predatory creatures of evolution. They have developed highly refined sensory systems to help them locate, track, and attack prey items. As anglers, we understand how these systems work. We can adapt their presentations and patterns to better trigger a response. The first sensory system pike depend upon for locating prey is their lateral line. The lateral line is essentially a series of pores in their skin, which act as neural mass for picking up slight water pressure movements. A struggling bait fish gives off frequencies that the pike's neural mass detect, signaling that there is a fish in distress and possible an easy meal. That is why flies, which give off sound, such as jointed streamer patterns or even flies with built-in rattles, work so well. Of course, a large topwater popper that disturbs the surface is the best signal to a pike that the dinner bell has been rung. The second sensory system a pike relies upon is vision. A northern pike's eyes are placed on their head to provide them with the exceptional forward and side vision. This dorsally oriented vision is ideal for lion weight ambush hunters like pike. Big Northerns love to lie in the bottom or in structure like thick weeds, waiting to pounce on unsuspecting prey. Fly fishers can better succeed by carefully working over structures such as weed bed edges, beaver lodges, and even drop-offs. You need to slow down your presentation as it goes by these structures so the pike have a chance to spot your fly and attack. Another means by which a pike's vision can be used to our advantage is by understanding how they perceive prey visually. Known as a predator-prey discrimination, a pike will use silhouette, contrast, and behavior as means of determining what is a genuine target. Well, that was a fun day on the water exploring and fishing with my friend Rob. Though we spotted several large pike in the back bays, unfortunately, we were not successful bringing them to the boat, but that's all part of fishing. After that day of casting in the fresh air, coupled with a great dinner, it did not take us long to get to sleep. It's another beautiful day here on Esnagi Lake. After tanking up with a delicious and hearty breakfast, Rob and I study maps of the lake and assess our plan for the day. There are still many bays we've not yet explored, though they're farther down the lake. Rob and I head down to the docks with our gear, eager to get out on the water. As a backup, we've also arranged for Andre to join us later in the day to help us locating the pike. got an early start this morning. We're at the other end of the lake now. We're in a beautiful bay, shallow, and we're sight fishing today. I've been looking forward to this the whole time. It's gonna be amazing. Even though it's a sunny day and conditions seem perfect to find the pike in the shallow bays, we cannot locate them. Casting and casting, checking more bays, but in the end, still nothing. At noontime, Marmac guide Andre came down to the lake and joined us for the rest of the day. Things began to change. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go, Rob. Top water, eh? That was right on top. Little ambush there. I was just saying, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this fly down. And I didn't really get it down, maybe an inch subsurface and boom. Okay. Boom, there, there we go. Popped up for you. Second time's the charm. 
Okay, we're on the board. I got a good feeling about today, Rob. I don't know what it is. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. I'm we're liking this one. for Pike. What's not to feel good about? It's a beautiful day. We're, uh, we're tucked away nicely in a little calm bay. No matter what it's doing out there, we're going to have good fish and water here. So the drive home could be a little bumpy, but it won't impact our day today, I don't think, fishing-wise. As the winds pick up. And we're hunting for big gators. So we went both went to floating. I try one out here. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice Rob. Oh man, that thing shot out of nowhere. It was, you know what, that was tucked in behind the rock there. Yeah, just saw the flash come flying out there. Man, I just love how aggressive these fish are. It's so fun to just watch them. I saw that happen, he came yeah. right, right oh, over. He spit it right there. There you go, no worries. Just saved us getting the hook out. Very nice, back at her. Andre's so good, he just pops it out. With his, with his force. Just the sight of the he net. He uses his force. As soon as they see Andre, they're like, we're out of here. Boom. There he is. Nice. Oh, there uh -huh. he comes again. Oh, oh, nice. He took it again, you nice. greedy. <laughs> he's got it this time. Last time, he's just hanging on to the fly. He followed right to the boat. As soon as I sped it up, oh. he grabbed the tail of it, and then he spit it. Threw it back out, he comes right back again and takes it. Thanks, Andre. There we are. Very nice. <laughs> that explains all the busting of the bait. We were literally just fishing about 20 yards from here and saw four big balls of bait just crash in the surface. We call that nervous water. So we just kind of paddled on over here. First cast, there's a pike sitting in there. That explains all the bait busting. We we're hoping it'd be a little bigger. Nice, hooks out. But that's how scary these fish are. <laughs> They'll even make a school of fish hit the surface. Nice fish, Mikey. Thanks, bud. Good it's call sore. running over here. As the sun warms up the small bays this afternoon, the fishing seems to be picking up. The pike are getting more active and their strikes are very aggressive. This is so much fun. There's a chase. There we go. Nice. Oh, nice fish, Rob. Oh, man, that thing flashed. Swiped that at once and then turned and just went crazy. Try How's and get it feel, this, Rob? I'm going to try and get this guy to the reel. It's not. I think it's a decent fish. It, it really blew up really big. It really, there. like the flash looked huge. I haven't had a good look at it. but Yeah, that blew up on the surface there. It was really cool. Yeah, these fish have so much power. How's it looking? This looks, looks like a good fish, man. It's not a... Not a giant, but it's certainly the type of fish you come here for. I'll take these That's babies nice fish, all, all day long. Okay, let's. Oh, oh thank nice you, one. sir. Right into the net. That was kind of you. Nice net job, man. Thank you. you like it when they jump right into the net, yeah, eh? <laughs> okay, let's get that hook out of there. Right to the end, they're chomping. All right. Beauty. Woo. Nice fish, Rob. Nice net job, buddy. Oh, there we go. Nice. We're on our way to the next spot. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice fish. Andre passes this bay and says, we can't pass it without fishing it. So always listen to your guide. It's a nice fish. Oh, 
Give us another bust. It's gonna turn and go one more time. Ready? Ready to come home? Good it's call, nice, Andre. Come nice here. Nice fish, Mikey. <laughs> That's a good call coming here. That black Always and listen to your guide. That black and orange delivers all week. Oh, nice. It's a nice fish. It's thick. That's a thick fish, man. That's a thick fish. Late in the afternoon, you just pick up the speed of these retrievals because they're starting to get aggressive. Oh yeah, nice take. Nice take, Rob. I was Beautiful. on a speed retrieval, Mikey. Speed Good retrieval. call, man. Hey, can you check my line under your foot? Thank you. Super fast retrieve, Rob? Yeah, super fast retrieval, and it smashed it. Good call, Mikey, you just said that. I just switched to a fast retrieval in a spot I had just cast it a few times, so that moved the fish, no doubt about it. Man, I love these pike. They just come like barracudas out of nowhere, like missiles. Boom, beautiful. Cooperated too. Very nice, very nice. Oh, Whoa. oh, 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 oh. Andre with the skills. Hey, shortstop. Nicely done, sir. <clears throat> very nice fish. There we are. There's a fish right there. Strip set, strip set. There we are. Nice, Mikey. Dogging. I'm telling you, every time we go to a new bay, it's always the first five minutes we're into a fish. Andre is dialed in in this lake. He's right behind the boat. It's a nice fish, there we Mikey. Go. That's a oh. nice fish. Very nice. Thanks, Andre. Give him a little dip in the net, wash him off. Let this guy go here. I'm telling you, every time he takes us to a new a new bay, five minutes we're into a fish. So what we've been doing is we're getting three, four fish. Andre's just taking us around to the next bay. We're hiding out from the wind. And it's been like this right through the entire lake. The entire system is full of fish. We're pike fishing right now. Most of the people that are staying at the lodge have been pounding walleye and they're actually getting into the whitefish right now. There's fish throughout this entire system. It's absolutely amazing here. As we continue to spot hop likely location, it quickly becomes apparent the water is warming up too much. Driving the pike down into the deep. Now it's time to head back to the lodge for some tasty home cooking, and hopefully the pike will be returning later in the day. Marmac Lodge offers guests three full home-cooked meals per day and will even pack a lunch for you to take out on the lake if requested. Easy arrangements can also be made for special dietary needs. Marmac Lodge itself has nine cabins and it sleeps, we try to keep the numbers around 35 people. Uh, the cabins are all um, Everybody has their own individual cabin. You're not inside like a lodge building per se. Every cabin has a full kitchen, three piece baths, all the bedding, towels, everything's provided in the cabins. Uh, we also offer American plan, which is, or deluxe, which is all your meals and daily maid service. And we also offer a housekeeping plan where you can bring in all your own food and cook for yourself. The boats and motors are all 18 foot cedar strip boats with 20 to 25 horsepower Yamahas. Um, we've been using those boats for 50 years and uh, we just think they're the best in terms of like being able to handle the water. There's no noise, no reflection, easy to walk around in, lots of room. I mean, 18 feet is a lot of, a lot of room. Yeah, and then some of them we built with casting platforms that, uh, you know, for fly fishing and uh, casting into the weed beds and, and that kind of thing on calm days. For casting large flies for the pike, we're using eight or nine weight fast action rods matched with large arbor reels. The best fly lines to bring are weight forward floating, full sinking lines, 
and intermediate fly lines. With a array of fly lines, we can explore all parts of the water column with our flies. We've come back out for the evening bite. Hopefully the pike have moved back into the shallow water bays. Mending. It could be really important when you're fishing around hanging trees, all kinds of structure and obstructions around you. What we're gonna do is show you how to throw a streamer and change the angle of the fly and give it a profile look. Instead of coming this way, it's gonna go this way across the, fit, uh, across the fish. So it looks like this. You're gonna cast it in. Now it's straight on me. I'm gonna just throw a huge mend. And what I'm doing now is when I'm stripping, it's coming across sideways. So they could see the whole profile. So if I was trying to get into these bushes, I would put it out in there, throw a mend over here. If I was further out, you'd be able to see it a little, uh, what I'm talking about, but I just wanted to show you in tight here what it looks like. The fly is now going across. So if there's any fish sitting under any of these obstructions, they're gonna see the profile. They're down there for a reason. They're ready to ambush and they just come out and they'll strike it. It's so cool to watch. Oh! Nice. Oh! Nice. You see the profile there? I, what I did was I cast it in there and I throw a huge mend under the tree. So it would skate across the tree and, and, and you could only see the profile instead of seeing it head on. Cast away in the back, huge mend. And when you strip it in, it went this way. It went horizontal right across uh, from under the tree. So the fish got to see the entire profile this time and it just came out and absolutely crushed it. Look at this backdrop, Rob. Oh, it's incredible. So Perfect. I say the waves are a little big while well, talking to the one of the bays yeah. or how about the Anywhere river? in the system you're finding fish. Yeah, always a place to hit nice, comfortable water. There you go. Boom, there we go. It's another beautiful fish. Beautiful night. Nice dark water in the river here. They disappear pretty quick. There he goes. Nice job, Mikey. Wow. We started with a bang and our rods never stopped bending for the last two days. I want to send out a huge thank you to Ken and Debbie, Marmac Lodge. We had a fantastic time. Huge fish, Northern hospitality. If you want to learn more about this episode or others in the series, give us a visit thenewflyfisher.com. I'm your host, Mikey Metcalf, and I'll see you on the water. The New Fly Fisher is brought to you in partnership with Destination Ontario, Algoma Country, Orvis Fly Fishing, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada. <laughs>